Chris Paul joins forces with fellow All-Star James Harden in Southern Texas, Houston. Um, James Harden is the face of the Houston Rockets, and the Rockets will emphasize emphasize that later this summer when they give him another contract extension to potentially keep Harden there and happy. Um, he's the Rockets' leading scorer, amazing offensive talent, ability to do whatever. Um, what can't what can't Harden do? He can shoot, drive, finish, pass. Can't defend, but he can score. He's a 50% player. He'll give you 50%. Actually, I take that back. He's a 100% player. He plays 100% offense, 0% defense. But the reason that is because Harden is, he gives all his energy on offense that he needs it. He needs the energy. He needs to be able to somewhat rest on defense. Um, but that's where Chris Paul comes in. But then they also lose Patrick Beverly, um, all NBA defense candidate. Dude's amazing. Is Chris Paul a better defender than Patrick Beverly? No, but he's able to make up for um, Harden's mislaps. Trevor Ariza, great defender, able to lock up any small forward, any player one through four. Amazing talent, can shoot, defend. That's about it. What does the Chris Paul trade mean for the Rockets? Because both of their star players, Harden and CP3, are both amazing, phenomenal, phenomenal passers. Uh, originally, James Harden wasn't. He needed the ball to be given to him. He played shooting guard the other year. But then their new co uh, head coach, Mike D'Antoni, came up to James Harden and said, James, you're going to be playing point guard all season. James Harden embraced that, had a phenomenal year. Rockets leading scorer, all-star, MVP um, caliber talent. Sadly, he didn't win, but he's not better than Russell Westbrook. Um, in Houston, the Rockets have just formed the best backcourt in the NBA. Easily, easily. There's no other backcourt like them that are that has the ability to do what they do at the same time. Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan. Well, that might be broken up soon. Kyle Lowry's a free agent. DeMar DeRozan, trade rumors. But Lillard, CJ, big fan, both offensive given talent. But the way Lillard and CJ McCollum play is you score. Oh, good shot. You made it. Oh, next play. CJ McCollum. Goes down the lane, scores. Next play, Lillard scores. Next play, CJ scores. Just a back and forth offense that feeds off of one one another. Another backcourt that could be in the running. Um, John Wall, Bradley Bill. Once again, John Wall is a great defender. Bradley Bill, not so much, but both have the offensive abilities that few players are will ever be able to. To reach but not better than cp3 and harden who can do it everything 75 percent they can do about 75 percent everything maybe 80 because harden can't play defense um up north in the west up in california two light skins both able to shoot steph curry and clay thompson Similar situation, except Steph Curry is more of a James Harden type player. Klay Thompson is less of a CP3 role, but only, but more closer to CP3 than Harden because CP3 plays defense. Klay plays defense. CP3 is gonna have to guard the better, um, the better guard, so James Harden can take it easy and get the lesser role player. Same thing with Steph. Steph Curry de never guards. The better point guard ever so you have to take that in consideration but cp3 is better than steph curry yeah he's better than steph curry what can steph curry do that cp3 can't do cp3 can shoot he can dribble he's fast that's about it all that curry can do shoot he has agility 
and his handles. That's it. CP3 can CP3 makes his teammates better. Hardem also makes his teammates better. Last year he made his teammates better. But anyways, the Rockets are just fighting for the second seed in the West. There's not much they can do. Unless they bring in a two-way player such as an Otto Porter. Otto Porter would fit amazing, but don't know how they would want to give probably over $20 million to Otto Porter. But in this NBA where Roy Hibbert is getting, I believe, $17 million a year. Yeah, Roy Hibbert. Yeah, same thing with Timofey Moskov. Bums, but... Do I think the Rockets have a chance in winning a ring this year? No. The future, yes. I believe so. It's the Rockets are knocking on the door for the finals. They're knocking on the Spurs door. Spurs are still better than the Rockets as of right now. But the Rocket, I mean the Spurs plan on bringing in free agents. But the whole Chris Paul rumor of CP3 going to Spurs is out the window. So who would they want? Kyle Lowry? But, like I said, Rockets are just knocking on the door of the Spurs. Not even close to the Warriors. But when they play the Warriors, it's a great matchup for and favorite towards the Rockets. Because CP3 is going to lock up Curry. And Curry cannot guard... Curry has to guard somebody trash. So who's he gonna guard? CP3? An all-star? Phenomenal store, scorer? Facilitator? Able to do everything? Or is he gonna gu guard Harden? Who will just expose him and drop 50 on his head? And then... Harden, Harden can guard Clay. All he has to do is just stay on the three-point line and follow him around. Trevor Ariza is going to lock up KD, or at least, you can't stop KD. You can maintain him, but you cannot lock him up. You can never stop Kevin Durant. Dude's amazing. Terrible person, terrible decision of him, but Trevor Ariza can maintain him. Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson. Sorry, Ryan, Ryan Anderson. Great shooter. That's about it. He can't, he can't guard Draymond. Draymond is gonna lock up Ryan Anderson, or would you rather have Draymond locking up, or not locking up, but guarding Clint Capella, who sets phenomenal screens, phenomenal blocker, and dude's dude's huge. Does everything that's not seen. Compare you can compare him to an inside Draymond. Draymond does more of the outside. Anyway, Rockets aren't close. Pick up a few players. They can be great. You might be shaking your head as why they traded this phenomenal point guard and Chris Paul, future Hall of Famer. But hey, I might I might do a video on the Clippers and what are my thoughts on the Clippers and what's the direction they're taking and what's going also going on with Blake Griffin. So stay tuned and make sure to like, comment, and also give me your feedback. Give me your feedback as to what's your thoughts on the whole rocket situation. And thanks for watching.